NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, 546, you're taking a live look at our camera in Rutland. Pretty cloudy, I guess, at this time of the day in Rutland. You know, this time we always get a beautiful sunset, especially mm. from our Rutland camera, but we might not have one the next couple of days. No, Tyler is here with some bad news. Seems like Friday is a guarantee for a decent sunset. Mm. Problem is it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in between, there's quite a lot of rain on the way. Probably very minimal flood risk, which is good, but it's so, so liquidy for mm. early March. You'd think that there'd at least be some elevation snow, and we just don't have a lot of that in the forecast. Mm. This here is uh, Jay, the new camera they've got there, looking at the Metro Quad. Hey, fun fact, that spent the first couple years of its life at Sugarbush Mount Ellen. Not sure if you knew that. But it uh, looks like there's not too many glimpses. You can see the camera wiggling there. A little bit of a gusty south wind in some cases. Saranac Lake has a gorgeous shot. Look at the horizon there. A little bit of an orange coloring in the sky. And certainly if you look between the buildings, like way out in the distance, those clouds are the ones that have been over Vermont for pretty much the whole day, like these. This is Brattleboro. All these different vantage points we can give you. No uh, rain falling from these clouds right now. That really holds off till tomorrow, town meeting day. 49 in Tupper Lake right now. Got a 44 in Brookfield. And uh, a lot of 40s in the Northeast Kingdom because the clouds were pretty stubborn today. So two main areas that we're watching. Low pressure to the south. A very impressive spin to that low over the Carolinas up into Virginia, almost the D.C. area. This will bring us the showers for tomorrow. But then as we look north and west, a cold front tries to interact with us by the time Wednesday rolls around. By the way, several tornado warnings again today. Uh, this is right now northwest of Chicago. So that front means business as it continues to work off to the east. So we see the showers coming in from the south first thing tomorrow morning and then they overspread the whole region. So it won't rain the whole time, but showers from time to time for Tuesday. And then as we get to Wednesday, that's the cold front we just showed you that's in Chicago. It's right over us Wednesday morning and it doesn't move a lot. So if you're under this band, under the front on Wednesday, you get rain for pretty much the whole time. There will be some areas north and south where it's kind of cloudy and, and just uh, in between weather systems on Wednesday with not a lot of rain. But you'll see here as we get into Thursday, at least the chances there for another area of low pressure to ki kind of really merge with the front. And there may be mountain snow in play. Look at the blue that starts to break out. But it would certainly be elevation dependent if it were to happen on Thursday. And uh, if there's enough, there could be some concern for power outages. But I would check back on that Thursday forecast. It's so hard to figure out exactly how the front's going to mesh with, say, a low coming up from the south. So after the next couple days, we look ahead to the weekend. This is Sunday morning. Rain, possibly some snow, but there is colder air coming in. So for the first time in a long time, we've at least got a shot at some accumulating snow across the board. I don't think it's a crazy amount, but certainly later Sunday, Sunday night and Monday, we get into this northwest flow uh, if the position of the storm doesn't change too much. And there may be some snow accumulation there to look ahead to kind of on the tail end of the upcoming weekend into early next week. So this is how it looks on the five day forecast plus five. <clears throat> Friday looks great. I don't think that changes. So Friday 47 sun and clouds and then those showers slowly come in over the weekend. It's too warm initially. So rain showers Saturday, rain showers, maybe some steadier rain Sunday, potentially flipping to that snow. And uh, look at that. We finally have a high in the 30s, the high 39 by Monday.